hello guys welcome to another video in this video we will learn about different types of soil survey mainly there are six types of soil survey such as uh, exploratory soil survey preliminary soil survey reconnaissance soil survey semi detailed detailed and very detailed soil survey so what is exploratory soil survey such as exploratory soil surveys are not survey proper usually rapid road traverse made to get information about the area scale of exploratory soil survey varies from this produce small scale soil maps useful for macro level planning for varied agro based development programs so this is the exploratory soil survey then reconnaissance soil survey it is um, undertaken to prepare resource inventory of large areas identifies the kinds of soils and their extent of distribution enables to assess broad potential potentialities of soils recognition of areas suitable for intensive agriculture priority treatment for amelioration then it is low intensity soil survey soil profile is examined at 3 to 6 km or even shorter Agar sampling is done at an interval 2.5 to 1 km. Then base maps, topo sheets, aerial photographs or satellite ima imageries. Then mapping units, association, soils complex, soil series. Then provides information for broad regional level planning and agri development. Proceeds detailed soil survey of potential areas. Target thousand acres per day so this is the reconnaissance soil survey then semi detailed soil survey very detailed study of some selected strips uh, developing correlation between uh, physiographic units and soils then random checking to find out the validity correlation developed rest of the area is checked at random and soil boundaries based on physiographic units delineated provide sufficient information about various kinds of soils including problematic and degraded soils scale of base maps aerial photographs or satellite Im imagery this mapping unit association of soil series or families final map scale this so this is about the semi detail soil survey then detail soil survey undertaken in priority areas traverse lines are on grid pattern enables identification of soil units up to phase of series for planning development of individual parcels of land provides information for interpretation of various kinds of soils and for understanding their pedogenic evolution time consuming and expensive the detailed soil survey of two types is low and high intensity it is high intensity soil survey so detailed soil survey is very high intensity soil survey so this is about the detailed soil survey there are usually three techniques as follows about the um, soil survey such as general purpose of api survey general purpose of free survey and special purpose of grid survey API survey used for low intensity surveys in which map boundaries at low intensities of field observation to characterize physiographic units. Then free survey. Free survey for medium intensity surveys using API but also with a relatively high intensity of field observations. Then special purpose of grid survey. Grid survey in this method individual soil properties are recorded on a grid pattern and may be mapped for uh, parametrically observation points may commonly be located on a elongated grid sited cross the grain of the land so this is the three techniques of soil survey here are some features about uh, free survey free soil survey uh, such as survey chooses observation points density of observations on small scale the inferred boundaries soil boundaries is this or smaller 
on large scale recognition of several new boundaries is this or larger. Then grouping of soil defined soil units. For large areas, state of country mapping is generally undertaken on scale is this. Example, soil resource map of India or Bangladesh. Then provide information and database on various attributes used for mapping and laboratory investigations, useful to various consumers. Generation of several thematic maps helps in determining fertilizers, amend uh, amendments and other needs of optimizing land use. 5000 hectare of above a free survey methodology adopted. So this is the feature about the free survey. Then we'll learn about the grid survey. Here are some features about grid survey. Mapping small areas, traverse lines are located on a grid pattern. Density of mapping varies according to area surveyed. Number of observation per centimeter of the final map is independent of the scale. Generally, 4-5 observation per hectare are recommended. Points of comparable observations are drawn. Grid survey at georeferenced points with latitude and longitude. Digitizing the database generating several thematic maps. It is very expensive recommended for experimental stations. So this is the all about the grid survey. To create a soil survey we need to look about some features such as site features. What are the site features about soil survey such as location, slope, climate, vegetation, erosion, groundwater, parent material, drainage, stones, salt or alkali, moisture status, higher category level of soil. So these are the these are the site features to make a soil survey. Then here are some profile features to create a soil survey such as horizons, horizon thickness, color, mottling, texture, structure, consistency, Q turns or clay films, uh, con uh, concretions, soil pores, presence of roots, pH of horizons and carbonates. So these are the profiles features about the soil survey. Then last one is analytical data. Which are the analytical data such as um, textural analysis, moisture content, pH, EC, organic carbon, total nitrogen, caco, cation exchange capacity, base saturation, exchangeable cations, exchangeable sodium percentage, sodium absorption ratio, available water, and micronutrients. So, these are the analytical data to create a soil survey. Um, that's all for today. In the next video, we'll learn about the um, planning of soil survey. Thanks for watching.